Hello and welcome to Reviews and Info. I'm getting a warning about the future, and this here is my new friend, Time Junk. Today we're going to talk about It's About Time. Great Scott! Thank you for having me on your show! I have a very important message to tell you about the future! You see, in the future you're going to... Jeez, I hate when that happens. Anyhow, on with the show. It's About Time is an episode of My Little Pony that I watched strictly because it sounded like an interesting sci-fi episode with time travel and a mystery as to why the time traveler had gone back into the past and what the message about the future was going to be. Twilight shows up looking like a character from Escape from New York or Road Warrior Mad Max or some crazy thing like that, bringing a warning from the future to her past self. But before she can do that, she vanishes and creates mystery about what that message should be. This causes the Twilight in the past to go into a panic as she tries to prevent an apparent disaster from the future. However, every little thing that she does during this episode only causes more of the issues that she saw in her future self to happen to herself, letting her know that whatever future she's trying to avoid is still coming. One disaster after the next, Twilight falls deeper into her insanity. The messed up hair, the eye patch, the bandage, the star, the black leather, all of it coming through one thing after another. At the end of the episode, we find out that there was no disaster and Twilight was worried for nothing. When she goes back in time to warn herself not to worry, she creates the very situation she was trying to prevent. Twilight Sparkle, you are the Chrono Trigger. What a twist. In all honesty, despite my love for science fiction and the amount of mystery this episode caused, it just wasn't the kind of episode that makes me want to watch it again and again. I don't know what could have been done better or what it was really lacking. Maybe if we had actually seen an alternate future and had been able to watch how events were unfolding and changing the course of the path of time or something like that, or maybe if we had seen how choices in the past directly affect choices in the future and choosing not to do something has even worse consequences than choosing to do something or as uh, something like that. If it had been anything other than Twilight causing her own suffering and slowly going mad, it might have been a little more interesting. But it was good for what it was. I certainly wouldn't call it the worst episode, but it's not a great enough episode for me to put in my top ten list. And as a non-fan of My Little Pony, I certainly didn't care about things like the Star Swirl Ring of the Library, or the uh, Royal Guards, or the appearance of Celestia to tell Twilight it was Tuesday. And I also didn't understand the whole uh, pinky sense predicting the future and uh, stuff like that. The episode did have interesting moments like the attack from Cerberus, which helps build on to the world that we've already gotten. But beyond that, it's pretty much just Twilight causing the situation that she's trying to prevent and having to realize that she was worried over nothing, of us learning her lesson. I would have personally liked to have seen more time travel in this episode. Maybe go into a dark future that desperately needs changing, or maybe go into the past and get a little history lesson on the origins of different characters. While this episode didn't necessarily give me what I wanted, 
it did set up the fact that time travel is possible in Equestrian, we can do it again, surprisingly through multiple methods. I don't really have a lot to say about this episode, so join us next time for the super speedy Cider Squeezy 6000. Thank you for watching, and good night.